we have to come to a historical understanding of how racism and colonialism has defined a binary dichotomous definition of gender, male opposite of female. That's not traditional historically in this world, uh, but it's been put on us through racism and colonialism. Stop policing the way children in your lives um, show up and how they um, express their own gender or their sense of themselves. The one thing that I would recommend is for uh, every man to take a, an opportunity to go deep within uh, themselves, be, uh, have an opportunity to really do some deep reflecting and to better understand those influences, early uh, influences in their early life that created the belief systems and the, the templates of the way we see the world as men and uh, because those images and those templates and those beliefs guide us uh, as men today. People throughout their lives, they develop these facades and they become so real to them that they actually start to live it out. And some people do it for, um, you know, to protect themselves from other people. Some do it to try to be cool. Some do it for all these different types of reasons. But I honestly believe if you were to tear down those facades and take those false masks off and just really show who you are, then I think that there would be a substantial change.